Hey guys, it is Danny, and I'm here with updates on the tropics. So we have what is now tropical depression lore to talk about, as well these two other areas of disturbed weather. Will they both or will just one become tropical? Um, a tropical cyclone well in this video i will cover all of that so if you want to know please keep watching this video guys and so before i go into details as usual please ensure to subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you know every time when i post a new video because i will keep you guys updated on tropical cyclone activity right throughout the hurricane season and you can also follow me on instagram my weather account is with the girl danny and my personal account is danny henry official Okay, so back to the 5-day graphical tropical weather outlook from the NHC and actually first we want to briefly talk about Laura which is still a rainfall threat to portions of the US. Okay, so on this map right here, we have the different colors representing different amounts of rainfall. So the lighter green is showing 1 inch and the darker green 2 inches of rainfall. So areas that are going to be feeling on um, these Rainfall amounts include Arkansas, Northern Mississippi, and Alabama, Kentucky, Tennessee, um, the Virginias, and even the most easter, the, sorry, the most westerly side of North Carolina can expect some rainfall, as well as Delmarva, as um, Laura is going to be moving out shortly, guys. So no significant impacts expected, but still be cautious, guys. And so now we want to take a look at our two new areas of disturbed weather. So that's one that is um, east of the Windward Islands, given a low 20% chance of development through the next 48 hours. And then we have the one behind it having a 0% chance of formations through um, 48 hours, but they're both given 30% chances of development through the next five days. And it is possible that we will see the one that is quite close to the Lesser Antilles becoming a tropical cyclone. And we're seeing a recent trend of these tropical systems tracking into the Caribbean. So this is going to be a Caribbean threat and they both must be watched. But the other disturbance just off Africa is going to be encountering some unfavorable conditions. So likely that it will not develop. But for the sea surface temperatures, here we have mostly the Gulf just off the east coast right there, the Caribbean being very warm. Um, the ocean temperatures are there to support development. And also, guys, the next name on the list for this hurricane season is Nana. So it is likely that any of the two disturbances, most likely the one that is um, east of the Windward Islands, developing into a tropical cyclone next, maybe by sometime next week, guys. And so, guys, I will keep giving the necessary updates as time goes by. And so if you found this video to be pretty informative, please give a thumbs up. And you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask questions. I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And just remember to always be weatherwise.